<laughs> How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> huh? No, you don't look tired. Your eyes look sexy though. Like they like kind of like, kind of like bedroom warm. I was just gonna say that. Like your eyes just look real like seductive. Yeah, very seductive. <laughs> you from the islands? Now, you, now when you act it out, it's gonna make it. Yeah, doing too much. Let God take you away. Let God do the work for you, right? All right, you, you were born with it, wasn't manufactured. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna ask a question about dating in New York. How's dating in New York? It's dating, yeah. Huh? It what don't exist? Said. It don't exist? Why not? I'm not out there in the dating world. Oh, you, 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 not, you, you have a boyfriend, married. Nothing. No, but I'm not looking. Oh, you're not looking? Hi. No, I was busy. It's just like almost eight years. And I recently. Oh, wow. So I'm not really looking. Oh, this is you time. Yeah. You healing? <laughs> healing or having fun? She's, Which one? She's doing both. You know what? It's one year old. <laughs> I told you we were weird. The thing about women, some women, I don't know if you agree. I left a relationship. Yeah. You what? See, a while. Like before months before you actually end it, you've already mentally checked out. Uh, so by the time you're just like, okay, yeah, it's over, you're good. You're ready to just party. Yeah. <laughs> So as, soon as, so as soon as he hands you the key, you're like, damn. Okay, okay I get it. I get it. I respect that. Appreciate you, Queen. Thanks, Tasha. Yes, she just deleted all her uh, her dating apps. Yeah, it was pointless. Yeah, it is. She's like... <laughs> so like you gave up on the Bronx. Yeah. You said Bronx dudes or what? Grimy. They gonna kill you in my comment section. I don't care. I said it. I said what I said. <laughs> All my boxer dudes will kill you. I got like I got a I I, I have a strong New York uh, following. Strong like my New York subs like they they fuck with me heavy. I think only one guy. One guy I partially dated from the Bronx was he's a really good dude. Like I still speak to him. Uh huh. Everybody else? Really? They ruined it for the whole borough. Really? Mm -hmm. How about Manhattan? Uh, or it's not a borough thing, it's just. I guess overall it's more a people thing. Because you can find jerks in every, in every borough. So, so someone might say, people in the comments say it might be you. It's not me. That means it is you. That means it could be partially be you. No, I will say what is me is I'm super picky. Oh God, yeah. super picky. What? I uh, define picky. I need a man to have certain things before I. Will well, we gotta know what those things are. Oh my God. You're being too abstract. For the most part, I want him to be like, you know, I'm a nurse. And I own my own crib. I have my own car. No, um, no, you said what he needs. I'm yeah, not talking so about what, what you have. I want uh -huh. him. So what I'm saying, no, I set that up to basically say I need to find a man on my level. It's so hard to find. What's your level, though? Because, because so can he have the same thing that I have? That's what no, I'm saying. If can have that, the same, be on equal playing field. But if, but if two people are the same, one becomes obsolete. Or he could even be on a whole other level than me. But so how about really if he's how about together. if he's spiritually in a heightened space, I'm or so emotionally okay. in a heightened space, and you're financially in a heightened space? So, so what's that? What's that going to do? I'm asking you. I've, I've done that before. And how did that work out for you? It, it doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> but if you can pay the bills, 
Okay, but I'm not trying to pay my bills and his bills too. But for a short period of time? Because then um, we both end up broke. That, it doesn't balance out. You know, I have a theory. Tell me what you feel about this theory. Tasha, you might want to chime in on this. I say that in order to have true, true love, you must fall in love with the ceiling of your man's spirit. True love does exist, but what, what, what people don't understand is true love gets hungry, it gets wet, it gets dry, it gets thirsty, it gets lonely. And what we fail to realize is we expect everything to be the same as it was from day one. When actuality, Wednesday it might be thirsty. Thursday it may need an umbrella. Friday it may need three layers of clothes on. Sunday it may be too hot. I'm telling you. No. Expect too much? You said too much? No, 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 no. Oh. Expecting to be the same all the time. No, I don't expect that either. Yeah, I, same, I think. Um, Every relationship is going to have a struggle. But what I'm saying is I will not willingly enter a relationship that has a whole lot of struggle around it because I've been there multiple times. But, str but, but I, I, I'm, I, I'm saying this, like, roles... Rose has highs and lows, right? Evan, highs and lows and Evans and flows, right? So some days or some years, you may be the, the dominant person financially, right? And he may be the one washing the dishes, taking out the clothes, making sure you are in the right space of frame where you can be successful as the breadwinner, right? That's fine once you're already in relationship. What I'm saying, I say this. I say entering a relationship, I can't do it. The easiest thing to do in a relationship is make money. The hardest thing to do is live together. That is hard. I've been here all That's what I believe. <laughs> I believe you can get a job, I can get a job. The, the incomes may not be where we want them, but the easiest thing to do is make money. I can, you can get, a, you can wake up tomorrow and get another job. You can wake up tomorrow and get another job. You know what I mean? But I think the hardest thing is, is living together. You know what I mean? What does he like? What doesn't he like? Uh, how many times a week do we become intimate? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, when are we having kids? Are you going to school? Do we have to sacrifice for you to go to school or are we going to start our own business? You know what I mean? I, I think those are, honestly, I think those are the questions like in 2018 like should be prominent, prevalent in relationships. Like you want to go to school, I want to start my business, one of us got to make the sacrifice. So I'm going to sacrifice my credit so you can go to school and get your start your own business and then you're going to sacrifice your credit so I can so I can get fair. back on my feet that and is fair. you understand what I'm saying and I I just genuinely believe that People want to leave with everything they came in a relationship with. You get what I'm saying? Elaborate. So, for example, so let's go from a tangible perspective. She says, I want a man that, has, like, she owns her own condo, she has a job. She, field or, or higher. You want to leave with at least that, right? Okay. As a... The reason why you get mad in a relationship, because you, you believe he has gone below the average line or the expectation line. You understand? Yeah. So you feel deprived emotionally, sexually, uh, intimacy, uh, financially, spiritually, right? But when in actuality, when you leave a relationship, you're going to have, you're going to gain more on one end and you're gonna lose more than the other, man. It's just what you value. You can never, I don't know, maybe this is just me being metaphysically, right? You can never love 100% again. We are all, we are all fragmented parts trying to look for someone just to feel two or three pieces of our fragmented life. I agree. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like your first, like, like take for example, your first orgasm. I'm not, I'm, I'm not being, I'm not trying to be like real, like, 
okay, but we're, we're still chasing that to a certain degree. That first kiss. Like, we're subconsciously still chasing that shit. Yeah. But it's not reality. That shit ain't happening. You're right about that. <laughs> it, it, it can't happen. You know, and that's just the reality. Yeah. But then it's up to you to compromise, you know, to decide whether or not you want to stay with that person. Absolutely. And build that person and the other way around. We're too afraid to build. You know why? Vulnerability. You have to be vulnerable to give yourself up to build with someone. That's true, but then also there's a certain point where, you know, if you've been building, 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 and it's not happening, yeah. you just have to yeah, you can't take force a lot it. and walk away. Because sometimes, you know, at this point, I'm happy by myself than I was in that relationship. That's short term, and you have the right to feel that way. That's not really a good thing, is it? Because I do get lonely on it, but I'm not rushing to be I'm trying to. We're, go ahead. We're all in training to say I do. Whether you're no wait 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 hear me out hear me out. Whether you're an atheist or a Christian, we're all we're all in training to say I do. Think about that. You know how you combat selfish, selfishness? By being selfless. Yeah, but then you're, you're just giving too much of yourself, then what's gonna happen to you? No, 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 there's no such thing as giving too much. It's a such thing as giving not, not enough. Never, never, it's never, never. I because, think she be, means like if she keeps giving to someone no, too much, it's No, that's being a fool, no, that's being a fool. Yeah. That's being a fool. Nobody wants to be a fool. But, fool me once, what? Shame on it's you, right? Yeah. Fool me twice, shame on me, right? Mm -hmm. Well, George Bush said it a little bit differently, but you know. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, man, it's it's the uh, but y'all don't have to worry about the quantity of dates y'all go on. You got to worry about the quality. Yeah. No one ever has to worry about the quantity. You could go out with anybody. Yeah. You could. Is there roles, responsibilities, like gender-based roles in relationship that, that should occur? I don't think so. I think if I'm good at something, I can do it. Are we getting two cheesecakes, by if, the way? If, I want pineapple. I want strawberry. Of the cheesecake? Don't drop it. I'm hoping. I hope I can get some. But, what was the question now? I don't know. Well, I mean, I mean, oh, yeah. since you want dating now, she might as well give your IG account. Because cause my king's going to hit you. My king's going to hit you. Well, when you I, tag me, my page No, it's going to be on YouTube. Oh. The whole video is going on YouTube. Oh, my God. So you might as well just, you might as well just, you might as well just give me your Instagram. <laughs> Cause they gon' they gonna follow you. They gonna go look for you. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so. I'm like, mm, do I want to give my IG to the world? I'm gonna give it to them anyway. You, you can list it in your comments. You know, like. In your, I'm gonna put it in your, your description box. Yeah. But you tell them like you gotta. You getting all coy now? You so far from coy? I know. I'm shy. I am. Introverted extrovert. <laughs> and I hate the camera. <laughs> oh, now you hate the camera. 15 minutes in, you hate the camera now. I do. Oh, okay. I hate being recorded. True story. You're, uh, <laughs> like, you should see yourself. Like, you, you look like a, uh, like, like a coy seductress. 
because you got your shoulder. Really? Don't get that. See, don't do that. You supposed to. You supposed to. You supposed to do that. You supposed to do that. <laughs> you supposed to do that. You supposed to do that coy smile. Like really? Yeah. There you go. There. You, that's a little better. That's a little better. Oh. I got to teach you the game. God yeah. damn. We gotta give Tasha a tip. A nice tip. Yeah. We give Tasha a tip. Yeah. You want some? I'm good. Thank you. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, so L Boogie, she getting all her, all her, uh, all her fixings. Mm -hmm. So all my kings, I want all y'all to go to her DM. I want all y'all to go to her IG. Tell, give me your IG. Jaguar. What number is it? Underscore. E L L E nine one six. Nine one six. Is that the area code out here? No, that's my birthday. 916? Virgo. Okay, Virgo. Like Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so make sure y'all go to L Boogie's page. You know what I mean? And uh No, we can just tell people to go to my page. If you ain't trying to waste my time, then you can visit my page. She chocolate guys. She real chocolate. Time. She real chocolate. <laughs> real chocolate. <laughs> She got the figure to match. She's sharp, quick wit. You know what I mean? So, uh, so we're gonna sign off. You gotta tell me your name or something. Lynette. I call her L Boogie. <laughs> Y'all call her. <laughs> All right, peace, guys. <laughs>